Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Grilled Corn Roasted or grilled corn on the cob, often seasoned with salt, pepper, and spices. Grilled corn, also known as roasted corn or corn on the cob, is a popular and delicious street food enjoyed in many parts of the world, including Guinea Conakry. It is a simple yet satisfying treat that highlights the natural sweetness and flavors of fresh corn. Here's an overview of how grilled corn is typically prepared. Selection of corn. The key ingredient for grilled corn is fresh corn on the cob. Look for ears of corn with bright green husks and plump kernels for the best results. Husk removal. Before grilling, the outer husks of the corn are usually peeled back, leaving the innermost husk intact. This helps protect the corn from direct contact with the flames and allows it to steam and cook more evenly. Seasoning. Grilled corn can be enjoyed with a variety of seasonings. Common options include brushing the corn with butter or oil and sprinkling it with salt, pepper, and other spices. Some variations may involve using flavored butter or adding a sprinkle of chili powder for a hint of heat. Grilling. The husked corn is placed directly on a hot grill, typically over an open flame or on a barbecue. The corn is rotated occasionally to ensure even cooking and prevent it from getting burnt. Charring. Grilling imparts a smoky flavor to the corn, and the husks may get slightly charred. The charring adds depth to the taste and contributes to the overall appeal of the dish. Serving. Grilled corn is usually served hot and can be enjoyed as is or with additional seasonings like lime juice or grated cheese. Some regions may also offer condiments or sauces to accompany the grilled corn. Grilled corn is a popular street food and a favorite at outdoor events, markets, and festivals. It is loved for its simplicity and delicious taste, making it a delightful snack or side dish that captures the essence of the local flavors in Guinea Conakry and beyond. Brichettes. Grilled skewers of meat, commonly made with beef, chicken, or fish. Brichettes are a popular street food in Guinea Conakry and many other West African countries. They are skewered and grilled meat kebabs, often made with a variety of meats and sometimes vegetables. Brichettes are a flavorful and convenient option for enjoying grilled meat on the go. Here's an overview of how brichettes are typically prepared. Choice of meat. The main ingredient for brichettes is usually meat, and the most common meats used are beef, chicken, or goat. The meat is cut into bite-sized pieces, suitable for threading onto skewers. Marination. The meat pieces are then marinated to enhance their flavor and tenderness. The marinade can include a variety of ingredients such as garlic, ginger, onions, lemon or lime juice, vinegar, and a mix of spices and herbs. Skewering. After marinating, the meat pieces are threaded onto skewers, often made from metal or soaked wooden sticks. Sometimes, the skewers may include alternating pieces of meat and vegetables like onions, bell peppers, or tomatoes for added flavor and color. Grilling. The skewered meat is grilled over an open flame, on a barbecue, or on a griddle. The grilling process infuses the meat with a smoky flavor and creates grill marks on the surface, giving the brochettes an appetizing appearance. Serving. Brochettes are typically served hot and can be enjoyed as a quick snack or a complete meal. They are often served with condiments such as spicy sauces, chutneys, or peanut-based dips for dipping. Brichettes are a popular street food option in Guinea Conakry, loved for their portability and delicious taste. They are often sold by street vendors, especially during evening hours, when people gather to enjoy these flavorful grilled kebabs as a satisfying and convenient meal. Whether enjoyed on their own or with a side of rice, bread, or grilled vegetables, brichettes offer a delightful taste of the rich flavors of West African cuisine. Bisap Juice a refreshing drink made from hibiscus flowers, sweetened with sugar or honey. Bisap juice, also known as hibiscus tea or sorrel drink, is a popular and refreshing beverage enjoyed in Guinea Conakry and many other West African countries. It is made from the dried hibiscus flowers, hibiscus sabdarifa, which are steeped in water along with other flavorings to create a vibrant and flavorful drink. Here's an overview of how bisap juice is typically prepared. Dried hibiscus flowers. The key ingredient for bisap juice is dried hibiscus flowers, which have a tart and slightly tangy flavor. The flowers are often available in markets and specialty stores. Boiling. The dried hibiscus flowers are placed in a pot, and water is added to cover them. The mixture is then brought to a boil, and the flowers are allowed to steep in the hot water for several minutes. Sweetening. Bisap juice is typically sweetened to balance the tartness of the hibiscus. 
Sugar is commonly used as a sweetener, but some variations may use honey, agave syrup, or other sweetening agents. Flavorings. In addition to the hibiscus flowers and sugar, bisap juice may be flavored with various ingredients. Common flavorings include ginger, cloves, vanilla, or cinnamon, which add depth and complexity to the drink. Cooling and straining. After steeping and sweetening, the bisap mixture is allowed to cool. Once cooled, the liquid is strained to remove the hibiscus flowers and any other flavoring agents. Serving. Bisap juice is typically served cold and can be enjoyed as a refreshing beverage on its own or with ice. Some people like to garnish it with a slice of lemon or a sprig of mint for added freshness. Bisap juice is not only delicious but also known for its vibrant red color, which makes it visually appealing. In addition to being a popular street drink, bisap juice is also served at social gatherings, parties, and special occasions in Guinea Conakry and other West African countries. Its natural tartness and delightful flavor have made it a beloved and iconic beverage that offers a taste of the region's rich culinary heritage. Poulet Yassa. Grilled or roasted chicken marinated in a flavorful onion and lemon sauce. Poulet Yassa is a flavorful and aromatic chicken dish that is a popular specialty in Guinea Conakry and other West African countries, particularly in Senegal and the Gambia. The dish is known for its tangy and savory flavors, thanks to the marinade and cooking process. Here's an overview of how poulet yassa is typically prepared. Marination. The dish starts with marinating chicken pieces, usually chicken legs or thighs, in a mixture of onions, mustard, lemon or lime juice, vinegar, garlic, and various spices. The marinade is crucial to infuse the chicken with its distinct flavors. Onions. Onions are a key component of poulet yassa. Large quantities of sliced onions are added to the marinade and allowed to soak up the flavors. Resting time. After marinating the chicken and onions together, the mixture is set aside to rest and allow the flavors to meld. Cooking. The marinated chicken and onions are then cooked together in a pot. The chicken is first browned to seal in the flavors, and then the rest of the marinade is added. The mixture is simmered until the chicken is cooked through and tender, and the onions are caramelized and softened. Adjusting flavors. Additional spices and seasonings may be added during cooking to adjust the flavors to taste. The dish should have a balance of tanginess from the citrus and vinegar, along with the richness of the onions and chicken. Serving. Poulet yassa is typically served hot and is often accompanied by a side of rice, couscous, or another starchy dish. It is a satisfying and hearty meal that showcases the vibrant and diverse flavors of West African cuisine. Poulet yassa is not only a delicious and aromatic dish but also a significant part of the cultural heritage of the region. It is often enjoyed during family gatherings, celebrations, and special occasions, where its delightful taste brings people together to savor the rich flavors of Guinea Conakry and beyond. Shawarma. A West African version of the popular Middle Eastern shawarma, usually made with grilled meat wrapped in flatbread. Shawarma, also known as shawarma, is a popular street food and fast food dish that originated in the Middle East but has become widely loved and adapted in many countries, including Guinea Conakry and other parts of West Africa. It is made by thinly slicing marinated meat, which is then stacked on a vertical rotisserie or spit. The meat is cooked slowly as it rotates, allowing it to become tender and flavorful. Shawarma is typically served as a wrap or sandwich, stuffed with various accompaniments and sauces. Here's an overview of how shawarma is typically prepared. Choice of meat. The most common meats used for shawarma are chicken, beef, lamb, or a combination of these. The meat is usually seasoned with a blend of spices, herbs, and sometimes yogurt or other marinating agents to infuse it with flavor. Vertical rotisserie. The marinated meat is stacked on a vertical rotisserie, forming a cone shape. The meat is held in place with a large skewer, and as it cooks, the outer layers become crispy and flavorful. Cooking. The rotisserie is set in motion, and the meat slowly rotates and cooks. As the outer layers become ready, they are shaved off in thin slices using a long knife or special slicing tool. Bread or wrap. Shawarma is traditionally served in flat bread or pita bread, but in West Africa, it can also be wrapped in a thin local bread or a tortilla. Accompaniments. Shawarma is typically served with a variety of accompaniments, such as fresh vegetables like lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. Sometimes, pickles, onions, or shredded cabbage are added for extra texture and flavor. Sauces. Shawarma is often drizzled with various sauces, such as tahini, sesame paste, sauce, garlic sauce, or a spicy chili sauce. 
The sauces add creaminess and a burst of flavor to the wrap. Rolling. Once all the fillings are added, the flatbread or wrap is rolled into a tight and compact sandwich, making it easy to hold and eat. Shawarma has gained popularity worldwide due to its delicious taste and portability. It has been adapted to suit local tastes and ingredients in different regions, making it a versatile and beloved street food in Guinea Conakry and beyond. Whether enjoyed as a quick lunch or a satisfying snack, shawarma offers a delightful blend of flavors and textures that make it a favorite among locals and visitors alike.